Hey folks, Bill Kennard here. I've gotten a lot of phone calls again over the last couple of weeks uh, in regard to, of all things, the EIDL program. Now, over the last couple of months, we've done several uh, uh, online uh, programs regarding the PPP program and, and kind of its highlights. And, and now there's a number of contractors who are either, A, getting their applications finally, uh, you know, they've got the application in, but they're getting the actual forms to sign for their EIDL loan. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is put together a quick webinar, uh, or a quick online training program, I guess, next week uh, covering this. And what we'll do is we'll go through and unpack that EIDL application, and really, what are you signing for? And there's some really important things in there that you need to be aware of. Now, for some of you, you're just trying to decide, should I sign that or not? For others, you've already signed it, and you've got your money. In either case, you still need to know what you've agreed to or what you're about to agree to. So we'll walk through that uh, for step by step and let you know what that is. Now, if you like, if you want to get that, go ahead and click on subscribe or uh, like this page. Uh, as soon as you do that, uh, when we post that new video, it'll automatically uh, you'll be notified of it uh, and be able to get a copy of it to view that thing. Also, again, hitting the like button lets others just like you know that, uh, that hey, this thing is out there and, and the algorithms uh, work a little bit better at that point too so other contractors can see the same thing as well. Uh, the second update that I want to give you is I've had a number of calls regarding the PPP program and uh, this uh, idea that was floated out about two weeks ago uh, as far as uh, uh, EID, or I'm sorry, PPP loans that were uh, that, that that might be just flat out converted to a grant. Now again, the, the uh, you know Mnuchin had suggested that idea that any PPP loans below one hundred and fifty thousand dollars would just be converted to a grant, uh, which means there's forgiveness is automatic. You don't even have to apply for forgiveness. Now, a couple of things. Number one. That is not in place yet. It's just an idea that was thrown out there. The banking industry is all over it because, uh, again, it could save them hundreds of millions of dollars and not having to process all these forgiveness loan applications. Uh, if they for, uh, converted these from $150,000 and down to grants, uh, that would take care of 86% of the PPP loans that are out there. So, uh, again, it's not in place yet. Uh, uh, it's something that may end up getting put in place or enacted as a result of the, uh, uh, the stimulus package that's going through Congress or trying to go through Congress right now. Uh, we're kind of keeping our ear in tune with that one, and as soon as we hear something on it, we'll absolutely give you an update. So again, if you want the updates, the future updates for this program itself, go ahead and click on subscribe, hit the like button, and with that, we'll keep you up to date. Later.